The Greek myth, Icarus and Daedalus at Grange Park Primary. Minus, the king of Crete, was a very cruel man. One day he sent a message to Daedalus, who was famous as a sculptor. Minos said, come to my island and bring your son with you. Daedalus and his son Icarus sailed at once to Crete. You are to tell no one about it. I shall call it the labyrinth. When the labyrinth was finally finished, Daedalus discovered its secret. It was to be a prison where miners could keep a terrible monster called a mantle, which had a, the head of a bull and the body of a man. It ate people. The king shouted, I cannot let you go. The king, sh the king shouted for a god. Delus and Icarus were marched away. They were locked up in a tall tower. Although they were well fed, they longed to escape. Delus watched the birds flying over the island and out to sea. Then he had an idea. Every day he put out food for the birds which came to the window and every day he collected some of their feathers. In the end there were hun hundreds of feathers that were collected. One morning Daedalus woke Icarus very early. Everything is ready, he whispered. We are leaving. Icarus stared at his father. The father pulled four huge wings from under the bed. We're ready now, he said. Come to the window. Together they stood on the window ledge. Icarus looked down on scared, he said, voice shaking. Will the wings really work? Don't fly too low over the sea or the spray will wet the feathers. And don't fly too high or the sun will melt the wax on your wings. Daedalus stood on the edge of the windowsill. The dad jumped off the windowsill. Then taking a deep breath, Icarus jumped. This is wonderful, he shouted. We are really flying. They flew over the island. Very excitedly, Icarus swooped down over the sea. He soared high in the sky. The heat melted, the wax and the feathers began to fall. Icarus fell into the sea.